Emily's from Natahi. Siri. Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Working the dishwasher in giant rubber gloves. Running in the morning, finding underwear up the flagpole. <laughs> a nut board and boat ceremony. The flag speech and try not to laugh. The boost up to get in the bathroom window for late night ri raids in the lodge. Incredible starry nights in the Tahi Meadow. Late night conversations in Tahaga to, of course, solve the world's problems. Meeting your very first group of campers. The joy of having green turn to blue. Lifelong friendships and the whole wonderful time. We'd like uh, Tahi to stand by decades. We have lots of troops recognized. So we were in Tahi in the 1950s, if you could please stand. and I am honored to be asked and to get to read it. I am camp. I am the clarion call from the valleys up to the mountain peaks of inspiration. I am the doorway out of the commonplace into the vast new adventuring experience. I am a place where 
youth learns the joy of play without a sting, of fellowship without regret, of creative effort that wearies not, and of a good time that leaves no headache or heartache behind. I am a new purpose for life that will make the years different. I am a guidepost pointing the way to God. I am a means of preparation for service. I am youth and buoyancy and enthusiasm for a great task. I am today and also tomorrow that is being shaped. I am habit, ideals, ways of living, confirmed attitudes in the soul of youth. Because I am all of these and more, I would invite you into fellowship with me. Come with me and I will give you strength that is everlasting. I will show you how to do worthwhile things. I will give you a vision of the life abundant that poverty cannot destroy. I will show you springs of living water which will quench all thirst. I will show you the majesty of the hills, the hearts of the glen, and the ripple of the smooth flowing river. Come with me, and life for you will be the same no more. I am camp. Again, before we finish the rainbow, at the very first council fire held here at Camp Otago that Friday night, all campers and counselors were given a piece of birch. There's nothing in the history that says what that bird significant significant sky blue scarves and as the sky encircles the earth, we as counselors encircle each and every camper to make this the best week of their summer. Whenever I get a whiff of smoke from a wood burning stove or fire, I am immediately back at Otaga. What I remember and treasure most was sitting around the campfire and serenading the campers at the end of the day. The warmth of the fire, the crackling wood, the faces of friends in the firelight, the sounds of the trees rustling in the breeze, the call of the whippoorwill, and the songs and their harmony. Now, if everybody will stand and form a friendship circle.